Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a fairly early December favourites. I'm aware that I'm going to be doing a yearly favourites um, but there are still a few pictures, pictures? Incorrect. There's still a few products that I want to talk about that I've been loving slash trying uh, in the month of December so not all of this stuff is amazing thumbs up favourite status but I thought that I would include the stuff that you know there is a bunch of stuff that I try this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff that I do try throughout the uh, throughout the month, and sometimes it's just so-so, and maybe you hear about it in an empties, maybe you don't. So I thought I would talk about everything. Um, starting with skincare, because, hang on, it's just over here, let me get it. Starting with skincare, so there's two products from a range that I decided to try out this month, and it's the uh, Alex Steiner range for Primark. So for a while I was, not put off, I mean, shopping at Primark's a complex moral issue uh, because Primark's probably not the great to the people who make their clothes, but also can everybody afford Topshop clothes and a Topshop that much better? You know, if you've got to clothe your kids, it's a complex issue, but I typically don't shop in Primark also because I just don't enjoy the shopping experience. Like I always feel like you're like, had six cups of coffee when you're in there and you're like, ah, like, or it's kind of like Black Friday every day. <laughs> um, but anyway, I saw that she had launched this line with, um, Primark and I was in there buying socks and tights, which I do get socks and tights from Primark and I thought, hey, I'll pick up a few things from this range. Um, I picked up four things, but there's two things that I have been really enjoying this month. So I thought I'd talk about them. First and foremost, probably my favorite favorite of the month is the Sleep Spa Overnight Lip Mask. So this time of year, it's cold, it's a bit shit um, weather-wise. And I feel like, particularly for somebody like me who has slightly larger lips. Well, I think it also happens to people with small lips too. They get chapped and they get angry and when you want to wear your nice orange in this case or red for the season lipstick, you know, it's not looking too hot, it, particularly if you're using like a liquid lipstick. Anyway, um, so that's where this comes in. So there's four, I believe it's four sort of categories within this skincare range and this is part of the sleep spa range. Um, and yeah, as this does, it's an overnight lip mask and like is exactly what I've been using it for and it works, like I like to use the Glossier Balm.com. I use that usually before I put lipstick on and um, sorry, before I start my makeup and then by the time that I'm putting lipstick on, it sort of um, died down a little bit. What's really interesting about this is it's kind of a gel oil wax hybrid. It's a really weird consistency. It's also bright pink as well, if you, I don't know, you can see that. But yeah, it just comes in this little squeezy tube I have on my bedside table, and I, and I remember to put it on most nights, and a lot of stuff like that I typically forget, um, but because I've noticed results and I like the way that it feels, like you can definitely feel that it's almost like making a barrier around your lips, like whilst it's sort of like working on them. Anyway, I've had considerably better lips than I believe I would have in this climate if I wasn't using this. So um, I think this is a phenomenal product. And for me so far, it's definitely the standout in the range from the products that I've tried. Another one of the ranges in the Alex Steinher skincare range, <laughs> range on, range on, range on, range, um, is uh, the Pore Balance one. And this is the Super Detox Clay Mousse Face Mask. Um, and as you can see, it is five pounds. Yeah, so this is in a, a big old pump. You get quite a lot of product in here. That's 100 milliliters. It's a clay mask and I use those regularly. So I thought this was something that I would want to give a try. And mousse really does explain it well. Like it's not foamy. Like I don't need to think that it's kind of like a foam that comes out. Um, but it's definitely got like this almost whipped texture to it. Um, and when you pop it on your skin, like it glides on really nicely and it washes off really nicely. So if you're somebody who has, you know, current breakouts on your face or if you have sensitive skin and you still want to use the clay mask I think this one is actually really nice at the it feels really good on the skin I like to use a clay mask once a week just to keep sort of oils at bay it sort of says about um, pore balance on the front it claims that it latches onto dirt unclogs pores and targets imperfections to help prevent future breakouts and I believe it does do that it feels really nice on the skin seems to be doing a nice job without irritating your skin and I imagine it would work nicely on sensitive skin as well although I don't have sensitive skin so I don't know how qualified I am to talk about that. Sticking on the skincare front, I want to talk about a returned favourite. So I ran out of the ordinary AHA, BHA peeling solution a couple of months ago, I think. And because I had the Beauty Pie 5 Minute Facial Fruitzyme Polish, um, which is effectively 
their version of this product. It's a chemical exfoliant basically, and so is this. I didn't repurchase, but anyway, so I've now since run out of the Beauty Pie one, so I, I've revisited this one and I used it last night, and I know that sounds like, oh, it's a monthly favorite, but oh my God, did I notice a difference in the texture of my skin. This stuff is no joke. Don't fall asleep with this mask on, like it, it makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. So if you're somebody who's really rubbish with SPF, get better at it, but also, this maybe isn't the product for you if you're not so good hot on using SPF. I also ended up buying it for my housemate for Christmas. She does have a little bit of sensitive skin, um, but she's like, oh, um, I found like my skin's like really congested and really clogged. And I got her that to, to clear up her skin, although I'm gonna be like, this mask is no joke. Like don't sit in the bath with it on for half an hour. <laughs> um, but also I got her the toning solution by The Ordinary as well, because I have definitely found having chemical exfoliants such as this one in my routine are really beneficial to sort of having decongested skin. Um, but yeah, and this is phenomenal and it's cheap and it's amazing. And it's just almost like a rediscovery for me. It was never, I never fell out of love with it, but because I didn't have it on hand, I kind of almost forgot how good it was. Sorry, I just realized it's getting really dark, but you can see that I put the lights on for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, would 100% recommend this. It's now back on ASOS. I think they've restocked the entire um, Ordinary range on there because that's where I got my housemates presents and it's all on there. Anyway, moving on to a makeup product. Now you would have seen this a couple of times in a few of my videos. Uh, it is the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. That's the mascara that I'm using at the moment. Like I typically don't want to use lots of different mascaras. And this one I got in a gift set. It was a star gift and boots and this is one of the things with it. So I thought I'd give it a try. I haven't had a high end mascara for a while now actually. Anyway, um, so this mascara is it's what I've got on today. I don't know if you can really necessarily see. Um, I do like the results that this mascara gives. However, it's now starting to, to not do it as much because I think it's drying out a little bit, which is good. But I don't know if it's something to do with my technique, the formula of this, it's probably a bit of both, but I always find this gets all over my face. Like it like flings over my face. And the thing is, is like with mascara, if you do get it on your face, let it dry and then it comes off really easily if you wipe it. Um, even with sort of like just your fingers dry. So it's like not the end of the world, but mascara's one of the last things I'm putting on and then I'm usually out the door. So to have like black specks down here and it's 9 a.m. is a bit of a a bit of a problem. And it's, it's a con that I've definitely noticed. Um, and it's just something that I wanted to talk about because I have heard a few people sort of talk about how good this mascara is and I do like the results that it gives. Like I'm not, I don't think it's a bad mascara, but that just happens to be a, a a con that I wanted to talk about because it every day like it doesn't matter how fast or slow or careful I'm going with putting it on I always end up with some of my fucking face anyway I just wanted to talk about that I just wanted to have a little rant about it hang on I'm gonna turn the light up a little bit in here god bless uh lighting settings on cameras because it is so dark right now anyway um the last sort of beauty product that i wanted to talk about was a body product again something that i've been trying out this month and it is the body hero set from uh glossier so i got this in the black friday sale every year they do 20 percent off everything so last year i thought about buying this i think this was fairly new then um i thought about buying it in the black friday sale because I typically don't spend on myself the amount that this costs, but I thought, you know, with a little bit of discount, like it, may, maybe it'll be really good. Maybe it'll really change my mind on spending money on body care. I think this would still make a nice gift. Anyway, I'm getting off, <laughs> I'm getting off track. But then I ended up not buying it last year and then I've sort of thought about it sporadically since. And I'm like, damn, I, sh I should have got that body hero stuff. So anyway, this year I did buy it and it is nice, <laughs> but, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it. So both of these are rose scented. I was kind of hoping they'd be maybe the scent of the perfume because I do love Glossier U and that's the perfume that I wear. If you wanna know what I smell like, that's what I smell like. So I was kind of hoping that this would be like a nice layering thing so you could really like smell it, but they have their own scent, which is this sort of rose floral smell. So if you're not into floral smells, you're not gonna like these. Um, so this is the body wash. I do really like the packaging and that's part of it, like the millennial pink and the fucking supreme almost uh, typeface and uh, choice of background. Uh, but yeah, so this is the Daily Oil Wash and it is kind of like an oil, but kind of not. Um, it does still, it doesn't lather up like an oil typically lathers up like a milk. It lathers up like a body wash. So it does have a little bit of an oily consistency, but it's almost more just like a posh. Well, it is a posh body wash. <laughs> um, 
and um, but it does like lather up what I would call like sophisticated lather it's not like obnoxious bubbles it's demure bubbles and I do find it does need a bit of like working into the skin to really distribute it I think that's due to the sort of uh, consistency that it is but yeah it feels nice it doesn't dry my skin out at all and obviously this is the time of year that my skin would be getting dried out um so I don't find that this is drying on my skin at all but again I don't have particularly dry skin and then this here is the daily perfecting cream which is yeah basically the accompanying body lotion um I really do like keeping body lotion in the shower next to body wash because otherwise I find I won't use it but I do really notice benefits when I do use it um again this is nice like it's a nice body cream and it does sink in fairly quickly into the skin but I don't think it necessarily um affects the integrity of the product like I don't think it because it sinks in quickly I don't think that it compromises on it being a nice body lotion and like one that works well um, so I do, out of the two of them, I prefer the body lotion. Would I buy them again? Probably not, even with the price discount. If these were a cheaper, like, drugstore product, I'd probably buy them again, but because they're not, I won't. And I'm not, I'm not disappointed in them, and I do think they would make a nice gift, because, as I said, it's typically not something that I'd buy myself. Like, I'd get really any old crap from them, <laughs> or just use what's given to me over the year. I don't know, I just really wish that, if they smell like Glossier you, I think I would be more inclined to like them but i just wanted to talk about them i have been using them and they're a bit so-so just to be honest so moving on to non-beauty favorites i wanted to talk about an app which is a little different for me and it's a uh, lifesome so i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this is my little wellness category on my phone um and then lifesome is oh god you definitely can't see this can you hang on if i turn the brightness down would that help yeah, there you go. So this is Lifesome. Effectively, it is a calorie counting app, which I know could be controversial, but I've been using it since the beginning of November and I've lost weight and I'm more conscious of what I eat and how much I eat. You know, I think you like to think, well, I did. I like to think that I was pretty healthy and I am actually, like I don't eat terrible food all the time, but I mindlessly snack a lot. Like I don't, always necessarily stick to meal times and I will just sort of stand at the fridge and pick um which this is something that's really been highlighted to me by using this app and sort of tracking what I eat and my aim is to lose weight like that is what I've been trying to do and it's been helping me with that so again like I, I I've I think I have used my fitness pal before but I never really like got into it whereas with lifesome I think maybe because of the user interface like I think it's really user friendly and it looks good like I know that sounds like a silly reason to use something but I honestly think if um sort of the um user interface is nice and appealing and easy to use and easy on the eyes people are going to use it more and that's definitely something that I found for myself but yeah over Black Friday actually I bought the premium version so you can get a, you buy like a yearly subscription so I'm now using the premium version but also the free version is pretty good as well but yeah I, I i really would recommend it if going into the new year you were looking to sort of just even be more conscious of what you eat and that's the thing like as i said like i felt like oh yeah i do eat quite a lot of fruit and oh yeah i do do this and then actually maybe i didn't eat as much as well as i thought i did and that's okay because now i'm eating better and i'm just more conscious of it and for me personally that hasn't like stopped me going out and eating bad food with my friends like i still go to the vegan junk food places that I always go to but I'm just more conscious of it and I'm just more conscious of what I'm putting in my body and I and I think that's a good thing um and you know as I said with new year around the corner that's something that you might be thinking of yourself um and that is just a resource that I've been using for the past two months and hello that's a resource that I've been using for the past few months and I've been really enjoying using and I've kept up with it I filled it in every single day um since the beginning of November so anyway I thought I'd recommend that so I did also want to talk about my new coffee machine. So my Nana was looking to get rid of her Krups Espressia bean to cup espresso maker with a steam wand on and in Swan's granddaughter who loves coffee, yes, I will take that off your hand. I and my housemates have been loving it. So I've just looked up how much it is. It's over 200 pounds. So it's a lot of money and I would perfectly happily use a pour over. But I tell you what, it's just, for me, when I like make like a, a filter coffee, like I use a pour over, like a ceramic pour over usually, um, that's, and that still is my favorite way to brew coffee. You know, I can't 
I, even though it doesn't take that long, I feel like it is more of a process and it's something that I'd rather do when I have like an easier morning, like a slower morning where I'm at home rather than if I'm rushing to go to work. Whereas with this machine, I can make an Americano very easily and uh, it tastes good and it's better than instant coffee um, because it, it's not instant. And yeah, I've just been finding myself drinking more coffee which is maybe a problem, but they are smaller cups as well. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd recommend it because I've been loving it and using it and thanks Naya. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you're having a fabulous festive season, whatever you're up to. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you've been loving this month, if there's anything you've been trying out, if you like any of these products um, or feel the same as I do about them, I'd love to hear from you and I shall see you soon. Cheers, bye. Oh, God. Ah.